Welcome back to Fan Talk, and uh, today we're going to be watching the trailer for everybody's uh, favorite little Disney film. Just let uh, it go. <laughs> just let it go? Let it go! <laughs> no, uh, Frozen 2. Uh, sequel, which we all knew had to happen. Coming out this uh, November. This November. Actually, I'm kind of excited about it. It looks good. It I did looks... enjoy the first one the first 17 times. Yes, and, and maybe even the first 20 times. And then I actually enjoyed, you know watching my daughter sing the songs almost as much as I enjoyed watching the movie. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you have a daughter and she loves Frozen as much as she does, you end up seeing the movie enough that you have every line memorized. Yes. And so, I mean, I I love Frozen, but uh, I did see it a whole bunch of times. I've enjoyed the last couple years of peace. <laughs> I was really glad when Moana came out. I'm like, yeah, break. new songs, new songs, yeah. And then so, after a while, I'm like, can we go back to Frozen? <laughs> so now with Frozen uh, two about to come out, I know that this is one that we will both get to go and see opening weekends. So. Yeah, I'm forgetting. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check it out. I swear these cartoons, have, the only reason you can tell it's a cartoon is the characters. The backgrounds are so real. That was even back in the day when Shrek came out, like, was it 99, somewhere around there? They had to tone back the um, characters from the animation to get away from the Uncanny Valley to make sure that people registered them as cartoons and not, like, attempting to go real. And I think they're still doing that because, see, you get to a certain point with the Uncanny Valley where they keep a cartoon or you go all the way, like, Alita. Yeah. Needs to take some lessons from Moana on how to get through the reef. <laughs> Ouch. This does look like it has a lot more of an adventure. Yeah, it feels like a, not necessarily a road trip movie, but like more going on an adventure. King's Quest. Definitely more of an autumn or fall thing. Autumn might be a bit of a bad butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh... No, it looks, I think it looks exciting. It looks, I mean, a lot different than the first. I mean, the first movie really was a lot like, oh, this has happened to my sister, and I have to go find her, and and what happens next? Where this one looks a lot more like a quest, them going together to accomplish something of some sort. It doesn't give away much. No, it really doesn't. I mean, obviously they're going on some sort of adventure, but you don't know anything about, about it. it yes and and so i mean obviously i'm, I'm curious so uh but it does it does look like it's gonna be fun and uh i mean there's no doubt about it this is definitely a film that i will be going to see <laughs> yeah yeah I'd definitely be dragged to at least once or t- ten five you know yeah. a bunch of times yes. um uh, have you seen uh, the uh ellen degeneres uh doing a little take on the just add to the reaction trailer um Ellen DeGeneres on the Ellen Show uh, showed a clip of the uh, trailer and added a certain element to it. Yeah. You know, she's famous for uh, doing the voice of Dory yes. on uh, Finding Nemo. Here's uh, the portion of her show. Okay. And, uh... Oh, let me put my little hearing aid back I'm uh, surprising you on this one, but I thought it'd be a perfect time to pull it up. So here, you know, she just starts running back into the water again. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just little follow up. That's hilarious that she did that. Yeah, Ellen's funny. Uh, whenever she pops up on TV, my kids are like, "We'll turn around, Dory." No, 
close. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, the first movie is a big success, and uh, my little trivia on the first movie is uh, their Easter egg of the author's name in the uh, characters' names, because written by Hans uh, Christoph Anderson or Hans Christian Anderson. Yes. And they have the characters Hans Christoph and uh, Sven. Yeah. Uh, that was a nice little tribute that somehow made it through 50 years of development. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because this uh, that was a project that started back when uh, Disney himself was around. Yeah, I mean, this as movie, the uh, Ice Queen. Yeah, because originally she was going to be the heavy. She was the villain. Mm-hmm. And it had been a production hell, you know, for forever. And it took all these years to finally be made into a cartoon and uh, into a movie. And uh, String, it, like, just tweaking the story and, like, taking out the heavy element and making it where she approached it, but then became the. Yeah. It, yeah. And also didn't have, you know, not relying on, a, you know, a Prince Charming to come save them all. Yeah, yeah. It's like a strong, independent woman don't need no man. Yeah. <laughs> Sisters stay together. <laughs> so, uh, but actually, I mean, like I said, I, I really enjoyed the first one. The second one looks like it's going to be good, and we know it's going to do well in the box office. Yeah. So. And, um, you know, Disney's having a tough time this year, so they really need a solid. This yeah, year. I mean, poor Disney. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not counting Spider-Man, because that's also part of the MCU but also, obviously, not Disney. It's Sony. Yeah, but, it's Sony. Yeah, you know, they have uh, you know the top five movies of the year. <laughs> I mean, it's like the unprecedented the uh, domination they have this year, and it's uh, you know the talk is about whether or not it's all just you know all stars aligning and all their IPs coming out at the right the time. You got Star Wars still, you got Frozen. I mean, you got all these things happening. Yeah. Uh, I mean, because uh, next year you're not going to have any. You're going to have a Black Widow and some obviously some Marvel. No like major crossover. You know, annual style events. Um, I don't know. Think there's a Star Wars next year. Because uh, they're finishing up the second trilogy or third trilogy this year. This year, um, so I think next year will be a different ball game. But this year, just all the stars are aligning. Yeah, it's it's been in the making with the Marvel movies, and and everybody knew this was the last several years of the year of Star Wars. You know, doing all several live action uh, Disney that. remakes. Yeah, and so live I mean, action, it's yeah. just really worked out well for them. I mean, <laughs> it's really paid off. So. Yeah, uh, well, and I'm still looking forward to seeing how the rest of the year ends up. Uh, you know, Lady and the Tramp, at least, on streaming. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's still some good ones coming up on us. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please remember to hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.